Welcome back to the Fluctus Channel. Drones are unmanned aircraft, meaning they have no crew or passengers. They are controlled remotely, either by a radio transmitter or Wi-Fi. Developed by the United States and Britain during the First World War, drones became an essential part of military warfare in Vietnam, mostly for reconnaissance purposes. That usage continues to be controversial. Drones have increasingly been deployed as a spy in the sky, keeping an eye on the ground below. But proponents of this technology insist drones are essential to track the operations of terrorist organizations in remote places, and in some cases, take out enemies from a safe distance. This strange-looking drone is one of the most important in the U.S. military. It's the world's first aircraft carrier-based unmanned aircraft. As seen here on the deck of the USS George H.W. Bush, the Boeing MQ-25 has been called a stingray in the sky for its dark gray appearance and flat profile. After winning a more than $800 million contract, Boeing announced that four MQ-25s would be manufactured by 2024. They will be primarily used for aerial refueling. Refueling in midair significantly extends the distance Navy jets can fly. The Navy's goal is for the aircraft to be able to deliver 15,000 pounds of fuel to four to six airplanes at a range of 500 miles. The MQ-25 first proved its capabilities to refuel in flight during this test over the fields of Illinois in June 2021. After the refueling is complete, the hose retracts to the drone. Both aircraft landed safely. The Navy's program manager said this successful test shows it is possible for an unmanned aircraft to free up Navy strike fighters from the tanker roll and provide the carrier air wing with greater range, flexibility, and capability. Other countries are also tapping into drone capabilities. The Royal Australian Air Force developed this drone, called the MQ-28 Ghost Bat, in partnership with Boeing. It's named after the Ghost Bat, a native Australian mammal known for teaming together in a pack to detect and hunt. Developers say the name reflects the unique characteristics of the aircraft's sensors and intelligence, surveillance, and reconnaissance abilities.
European nations are behind the development of this drone, called the Neuron. The creation of the Neuron was a cooperative effort between France, Italy, Sweden, Spain, Greece, and Switzerland. The aim of the Neuron program was to get these allied nations up to speed on the latest unmanned aircraft technology. It is also capable of being deployed on military missions. But, according to the program's website, the Neuron's main purpose is to provide European aircraft design offices with a project that will extend its technological capabilities and expertise in the area of unmanned aircraft. The Neuron weighs 5 tons and is 32 feet long. It has a wingspan of 41 feet. Powered by a Rolls-Royce Turbo Mecha Adore engine, the Neuron made its first flight on December 1st, 2012 in France. Flight trials in France to evaluate its stealth characteristics were successfully completed two and a half years later, in March 2015. Those tests were followed by sensor evaluation trials in Italy. The final flight trials took place in Sweden and included live fire trials. The Neuron project was not only a technological feat, but a diplomatic one. This drone is proof that it's possible for several countries to work together to build and manage new, powerful technology. The joint effort behind the Neuron is also a sort of insurance for the nations involved. Each knows that they can depend on the leaders of the others to cooperate and defend one another in future conflicts. Drones are not only airborne. USVs, or unmanned surface vehicles, operate without a pilot or crew on the water. Today, USVs are becoming more widely used for a range of purposes, including oceanography and environmental monitoring, as well as cargo transport. The Sea Cat is a seagoing catamaran type drone. It's designed for automatic or remotely controlled inspection and survey missions on offshore infrastructures. The Sea Cat is made of aluminum with inflatable lateral tubes, helping it be shockproof and lightweight. Unmanned surface vehicles are also used to search for naval mines. Naval mines are explosives placed in the water or on the ocean floor to damage or destroy ships or submarines. The mines are triggered by the approach of or contact with any vessel, which is why unmanned vehicles protect ships by locating and intercepting the mines before they make contact with a larger passenger vessel. The AQS-24B Mine Hunter is deployed to comb the sea for these threats. 
developed by Northrop Grumman in conjunction with the Naval Undersea Warfare Center. It is the U.S. Navy's first mine warfare unmanned surface vessel. Shaped like a small submarine with sonar capabilities and laser scanners, the underwater drone scans for bottom laid and moored mines. The AQS-24B addresses the three key aspects of the mine warfare challenge. First, it reduces the mine clearance timeline. Second, it improves the detection and classification of undersea objects of interest. And third, it dramatically enhances crew safety by keeping the sailor out of the minefield. Demonstrations show in real time how unmanned systems can augment manned mine warfare operations. From engine powered to solar powered, this unmanned vessel looks like a futuristic sailboat. In October 2022, the sail drone was tested in the Arabian Gulf as part of an ongoing partnership between the U.S. Navy and the United Kingdom's Royal Navy. The U.S.-based manufacturers of the sail drone say that it is environmentally friendly as it's solar-powered and has no carbon footprint. Its mission is also beneficial for the environment. Sail drone vehicles have sailed nearly a million nautical miles and spent more than 18,000 days at sea collecting data that provides unprecedented intelligence for climate, mapping, and maritime security applications. Governments around the globe are clearly eager to learn more about what lies beneath the waves. Communication and energy lines lie along the ocean floors, and those lines connect countries and continents. Mapping the ocean floor and understanding its layout can also inform military operations, particularly related to submarines. Submarines often evade detection by hiding in dips and crevices on the ocean floor. Drones are clearly a new superpower in military technology. These unmanned aircraft and surface vessels conserve energy, time, and manpower, and in war, they save lives. Aerial drones have become widely used in surveillance and reconnaissance missions and can easily monitor any person in the world from a safe distance. That's the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to subscribe to this channel so you don't miss any of our new content. See you next time.